so welcome back uh with we now we are going to start with devops with aws and yes we are jumping onto aws platform where we will see what are the different services provided by uh devops in aws and moving on to the further uh first let me ask you people how uh, anybody knows how a aws or any organization can define a devops so if anybody knows please write into the comment section so i can know okay you have an idea about devops with aws anybody from your side you can write into the comment section and i'll see it later on so that i have an idea that yes you have gone through this but you are talking about devops with aws yes uh, aws as an, as an organization what it feels about devops what uh, it has defined devops as is devops is a combination of cultural philosophies practices and tools that increases its organization ability to deliver the application and services at high velocity so uh, reading the term reading the defined term it says that it is a practice uh, it are the different practices philosophies or tool that develops or increases the organization's ability to deliver uh, to deliver uh, application and services at high velocity and it it helps in evolving and improving the products at a faster pace than the organizational uh, than organizations using traditional software development and infrastructure management processes so instead of going for a traditional method if we go with devops the aws organization itself says that the speeds uh, speeds up the uh, organizational capacity to deliver uh, the best to its customer and compete in the market more effectively so this is how aws organization terms or defines the term that is devops and how devops works so under a devops model development and operation teams are no longer sold so they are these two teams are merged into a single team these teams are not different as the word says devops so development and operational teams are a single team where the engineer work across the entire application life cycle from development and test to the deployment to the operations and develop a range of skills not limited to a single function so what happens is here we don't treat this teams that okay this is your part and this is my part this is not going to work the life cycle has to be a perfect co combination of both so this teams uses practice to automate the process that were like in uh, in history like in uh, in terms of uh, history they were manual done like they were slow and now what they use is they are using the practices to automate that so in some devops model quality assurance and security team may also become more tightly integrated with the development and operation throughout its uh, application life cycle uh, so uh, uh, regarding to the security of devops the devsec ops comes into picture where this team is put into picture and it looks about the security of devops so these are the different teams like development operation security working together to hold the application what uh, the organization is working on it gives you a quick and reliable applications it gives a quick delivery quick deployment towards the customers giving a reliability to them and efficiently and has an efficient growth in the market so benefits of devops with aws is the speed its rapid delivery that it provides a reliability that it assures it provides scale uh, it provides improved collaboration as it is working in team and yes devsec ops it gives us the security so this is about the devops with aws so let's begin so yes these are the different services that we are going to look further so from different phases that we have seen that a source build test deploy monitor what a source does is what a build happens so compiles its code then testing are done then deploying to the environment then monitoring the environment so these are the different phases that we went through but how in this uh, aws devops come into picture is code commit aws code commit is there it automates the code deployments to maintain the application uptime then aws code build is there where your uh, code is built then aws code deploy uh, aws code build plus third party tools are there for testing and then for deployment aws code deploy is there for monitoring aws x ray and overall it considers the aws code pipeline which gives you a ci cd continuous integration and continuous delivery so 
uh, taking one one service into picture, we are going to look into what the service provides. So AWS code commit. What happens is with AWS code commit? Uh, so AWS code commit is nothing but like it is a fully managed Git service. It hosts the private Git repository. The storage is by S3 and it stores anything at any time. So AWS code commit is uh, it secure. It is secure uh, and it is scalable. It is a secured and highly scalable managed source control service that it provides a host private Git repository. So it hosts the private Git repositories. It makes easy for the teams to securely collaborate on the code with the contributions of encrypted uh, things. So the code is in encrypt in transistor or at it uh, at its rest. It is in uh, encryption. So uh, why? We go for hosting a private Git repo because of security so that the team can securely collaborate over this. And a code commit eliminates the need for you to manage your own source control systems or worry about any scaling in its infrastructure. So you can use code commit to store anything from code to the binaries. It also supports the standard functionality of Git. So you can work seam uh, seamlessly with your existing Git based tools. And now talking about some benefits that you get through this AWS code commit. Why are we going for this AWS code commit? So uh, these are the few points on the left hand side you can read through that tells about code commit. But yeah, talking about the benefits. Yes, it is fully managed. It is secure. It is giving us a high availability as AWS code commit as has highly sec uh, scalable, redundant and durable architecture. The service is designed to keep your repository is highly available and accessible. It is very easy to collaborate on code with AWS code commit uh, that will help you to collaborate on your code with your teammates like by, by uh, pulling your request or branching or merging. You can even implement your workflows uh, that include code reviews and feedback by default and also control who can make changes to a specific branches. So everything is managed and controlled. So it's, it becomes easy for collaboration of the team. And there is a faster development life cycle because AWS code commit keeps your repositories close to your build, staging and production environment in your AWS cloud. You can transfer incremental changes instead of your entire application. So going with an incremental changes is better than going with your overall uh, application. This will allow you to increase your speed. That is what I said at the beginning. It gives you speed and the frequency of your development cycle. Also, one more thing that AWS uh, code commit offers you is to use your existing tools. So it supports all the Git commands and works with your existing Git tools. So you can uh, keep using your preferred development environment plugins, continuous integration, continuous delivery systems, and your graphical clients with your code commit. So this is about code commit. And the next is code build. So after moving from code commit, we are going into code build. So it is a fully managed build service that compiles source code, runs the test and creates the artifact. So it builds and tests the code with continuous scaling. You pay only for the build time you use. So here no build server are to there to manage. Pay by minute only to the compute resources that you use and it monitor, monitor build though uh, through CloudWatch events. So the monitor is there through the CloudWatch events. So AWS Cold Build, as I said, it is a fully managed continuous integration service. And uh, with Cold Build, you don't need to provision or manage and scale your own build servers. Cold Build, uh, Cold build scales continuously and processes multiple builds concurrently. So your builds are not left uh, uh, waiting in a queue. So yeah, that's what I have to say that it is scaled continuously and multiple builds are there ongoing concurrently. You can get started quickly by the pre-packaged build environments or you can e even get a custom build environments with the use of your own build tools. With code build, uh, the specific thing that we can say is you are only charged by minute for the things, for the compute resources that, are you, uh, that you are using. So benefits, fully managed build service, then it provides auto scaling. How does a code uh, build uh, provides auto scaling? Can anybody comment into the comment section, into the chat section, so I can know? Yes, yes, Shruti, you're right. AWS code build scales up and down automatically to meet your build requirements. 
So yes, the scaling is up and down to your requirement as per your requirement. It immediately processes each build you submit and can run different uh, builds concurrently. So, so none of the builds that you are going are waiting in a queue. So they are processing it concurrently. So yeah, it is scaling up and down automatically to your build requirement. So yes, the next benefit is pay as you go. The next is extensible. Uh, it is extensible uh, in a way that you can bring your own build tools and programming runtimes to use with the AWS code build by creating it a customized build environments. When you go for a customized build environment, you can do that. You can add the prepackaged build tools and the runtime supported by the code build. So it enables you for continuous integration and continuous delivery. It gives you a security. With AWS code build, uh, your build artifacts are encrypted with customer specific keys that are managed by AWS keys, that is a key management service, KMS. And code build is integrated with AWS identity and access management. So you can assign specific users or user specific permissions to your build project. So this is all what you can do with your code build. So we have went through code build, uh, code commit, code build, code deploy. Okay, now what we are going to look is into AWS code deploy. So what actually is the AWS code deploy? It is to automate code deployments to maintain the application uptime. It is a fully managed service that automates software deployments to variety of compute services. Like you can deploy it to EB, then uh, EC2, then Lambda, then Fargate, and even on your on-premises servers. So AWS deploy makes it easier, uh, easy for you to rapidly release the new features helps you to avoid the downtime during code, the update or uh, running app. It automatically rolls back if any failure should it, uh, is detected. So it handles the complexity of updating your application. You can use AWS code deploy to automate the software development uh, deployments by eliminating the need of error prone manual operations. The service scales to manage your deployment needs. So yes, you, even if there are failures happening, you can roll back to your version automatically. And there is uh, no or less downtime we say during the code update or running application. So this is about the code deploy and the benefits that code deploy gives you is an automated deployment, some minimized downtime. Uh, AWS de code deploy helps to maximize your application availability during the deployment phase. And it introduces changing incremental, uh, like it uh, introduces the changes incrementally and tracks your application health according to your rules, uh, what you have configured. Then the software deployments can be easily be stopped and rolled back if there are errors happening. It gives you a centralized control and it is easy to adopt. So yes, code deploy is a platform and language agnostic. It works with any application, provides the same experience if you're de deploying it with EB, EC2, Fargate, Lambda. You can easily reuse the existing setup code. With code deploy, you can also integrate with your existing software releases, processes, or your continuous delivery tool chain, that is AWS Code Pipeline, GitHub, Jenkins. So it is easy to adopt, we see. So talk this was talking about AWS Code Deploy. We went through AWS code commit, build, deploy. Now, what we are going to see is AWS code pipeline. So what is AWS code pipeline? So it is a continuous delivery service for your fast and reliable application update. You can design your development workflow for checking in the codes, building the codes, deploying your application into staging, testing, and releasing it into production. So overall process that we saw, like during the phases when we went to uh, from source to your monitoring, uh, the staging, testing, releasing, the pipeline, actual uh, continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline is the code pipeline that we say it's a delivery service. It is able to use the standalone as an end-to-end -end solution or can be integrated with your existing source control system like uh, test frames or build tools like Bamboo, Jenkins, etc. So that is about a code pipeline. It talks about a fully managed continuous delivery service that will help you to automate your release pipelines for fast and reliable application and infrastructure updates 
code pipeline automates the build, the test, and the deploy phases of your release process every time if there is a change in code based on the release model you define. This enables you to give you a rapid and reliable deliver features and updates. You can even integrate, as the last line says, you can even integrate your AWS code pipeline with the third party tools as GitHub or with your own uh, plugins, custom plugins. With AWS uh, code pipeline, this is the best feature that uh, comes into picture is you pay only for what you use and there are no upfront fees or long term commitments. So the benefits that we see through the code pipeline is a rapid delivery, a configurable workflow. It allows you to model the different stages of your software releases uh, during your uh, console interface, like AWS CLI or AWS Cloud Formation or AWS uh, SDKs. You can easily specify the tests to run and customize the steps to deploy your application and its dependencies. So the configuration workflow is given, configurable workflow is given. So it, it is even easy to integrate. So how it is easy to integrate that AWS code pipeline can be easily adaptable to your specific needs. You can have your own pre-built plugins or custom plugins at any step of your release process. For example, you can just pull your source code from GitHub, use on on-premise Jenkins build server, run your load test using a third-party service, or pass on deployment information to your custom operation dashboard. So this is overall how a code pipeline will be working uh, with a continuous delivery service that it provides. So this is about AWS code pipeline. Take a break over here and then we'll see a CI CD over AWS.